morning and welcome to St. Henry's. We gather today to celebrate the Feast of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us remember and honor Mary today as we begin our new school year. Please stand and sing our opening hymn, number 498, Hail Holy Queen. Number 498, Sing of Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We come together as God's family to joyfully celebrate today this solemnity in honor of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us prepare our hearts and minds and souls for the Lord by recognizing our need for his mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul, into heavenly glory, grant, we pray, that always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be sharers of her glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant could be seen in the temple. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and on its heads were seven diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God in his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert where she had a place prepared by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come in the kingdom of our God and the authority of his anointed one. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ, the first fruits, then at his coming those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father. He has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death, for he subjected everything under his feet. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste, to a town of Judah where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, and he has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months, and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. morning. I want to tell you what a beautiful sight you are today. This is my first opportunity to celebrate Mass with all of you at St. Henry School and to have the whole family here together today. And it's wonderful that we're coming together in this first week of school. And in particular, that our first Mass of this school year is that of celebrating the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. 
Now, at one level, it might seem like it should be a sad occasion because we think about that this is the end of Mary's life on earth, the time that she had had uh, in this life. And so we would think, well, maybe that's a sad day. But do you hear any sadness today? No, we don't hear sadness. We hear what? Joy. Why do we have joy today? Because this is not the end of Mary's life. It's what? The beginning of her heavenly life. The fullness of life. The glorious life. And that Mary is alive in the presence of God and that we are celebrating today, in a sense, her heavenly birthday. We're also joyful because in spite of the fact that we're all different individuals, there's one thing we share in common today. We have the same mother. On the cross, Jesus gave us a gift as he was dying. When he looked down from the cross and he saw his beloved disciple John, and he said to him, Behold your mother. And to her, behold your son. And we really see this as a gift to all of us of having a mother who loves us, prays for us, and points us toward Jesus, her son. That's the greatest gift that we give her on her heavenly birthday is to come close to Jesus, her son. That's what she is leading each and every one of us into that greater relationship with him. You know, words make a difference. Even one word can make a great difference if we say it and we mean it. The word of Mary is yes. When we say yes, it means something. It means I agree. Uh, I will do this. I am willing to. When we say yes to something, then we pray we are following that up with our actions. Mary's word is yes. When the archangel Gabriel came to her and told her this awesome plan for the coming of the Savior into the world, and that of all the people who had ever lived or will ever live, she, this lowly one, in a simple, humble place, had been chosen to be the mother of God, the mother of the Christ, the Messiah. Now, when Mary heard that message, she could not yet understand all that it would mean, but Mary responded with a yes. Yes, let it be according to your word. Let it be according to your will. And so today we are joyful because Mary's whole life was a yes to God, and now we celebrate that God's response to Mary was a yes. Come and enter into the fullness of the glory that has been prepared for those who love God. Uh, Mary remains for us a loving mother who continues to pray for us. And each day as we gather, we ask her to continue to point us on the right way to Jesus. One of the images or symbols of Mary is called the Star of the Sea. And why is that? Because before there were navigation systems and all the things that we use to get around today, those sailors who were out in those seas had to look to the stars to know the right direction of where that they were going. 
of the harbor they were seeking, of their destination that they were moving toward. They had looked to the star, and the star pointed the way. Mary is called Star of the Sea because her light is pointing to the one who is the light. Her life is pointing to the way of following Christ daily by saying yes. Her light is pointing us to the final destination that we celebrate for and with her today in the glory of heaven. So today, let's be filled with the joy of the Lord and be thankful for our mother, one who prays for us, one who loves us, one who cares for us, one who is alive in the presence of God eternally, and one who is our point of light, like a star in the sky, pointing us to Christ and guiding us in the direction to our eternal home of heaven, to be with the Lord forever, with the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the angels and saints. Today in our gospel reading, uh, in this encounter with Elizabeth and Mary, you heard some familiar words. They are the words of the beginning of our prayer, the Hail Mary. That's how Elizabeth greeted the Blessed Virgin. And so today as we honor our mother and ask her prayers for us, let's join together in that familiar prayer as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us stand and together profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Rejoicing in the gift of our mother today, we come before the Lord with confidence as she had and place our needs today before him. For our Holy Mother Church and her work of missionary discipleship, may the Lord strengthen and uphold her in bringing the gospel to all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For political leaders, may God give them the strength in building a more just and peaceful world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God. For all who struggle to conceive or have suffered miscarriages, may God bring them comfort and the assurance of his love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here, as we seek to do God's will, may the Holy Spirit give us courage and fortitude in our efforts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may the Lord show them mercy and gather them to his Son. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Vince Phillips, 
for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, like the Blessed Virgin Mary, we come to proclaim your greatness and to celebrate your love and your mercy. So we humbly bring our needs to you with trust and confidence through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join in singing our offertory hymn, number 481, found in your hymnal, Hail Mary, Gentlewoman, number 481. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation, our tribute of homage, rise up to you, O Lord, and through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, May our hearts aflame with the fire of love constantly long for you. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today, the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your church's coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly, you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb since from her own body she marvelously brought forth 
your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of Cain. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be singing our first communion hymn, number 820, found in your hymnal, Servant Song, number 820.
be singing our second song for communion, found in your hymnal, number 487. Holy is his name, number 487. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant, O Lord, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and have the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Please join in singing our processional hymn, number 498. Found in your hymnal, Hail Holy Queen, number 498.
O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment. 